What up, Wing Gang, man? It's your boy, Wing TV. Today, I'm coming at y'all with another video, man. And this is another military video, as you can see. I'm in my uniform. So today, I'm about to be talking about the military and my AIT experience and a lot about the 25 series, mainly the 25 Bravo series, though. Because I am a 25 Bravo, so I'm mainly be talking about 25 Bravos. So yesterday, I got a um, DM from a subscriber who watched my last video. He wanted me to talk about the 25 series life and AIT life and yeah, everything about it. Because when I was coming up into the military as a 25 Bravo, nobody made videos like this. So I'm about to make this video for y'all and hopefully y'all enjoy. Stay tuned. Put up ain't no burning. Fell in love with the money. When you laugh, not funny. Nigga soft like gummy. Making moves when it's sunny. Making moves in the night. On your bitch with the pipe. Mm. Say she cuffed all right. See about that tonight. So I got a um, list of things I'm about to talk about right here and what he talked to me about. And he wanted to know about the classes that you take in AIT, as a 25 Bravo at least. All the 25 series take this class called Foundations. It's five weeks. And basically you just learn how to subnet. You learn how to subnet, you just learn about safety, you learn about stuff like that. The foundations are the whole job. You learn basically the ground, which you need. That's the most important, because the foundation is always the most important. So basically just learn how to subnet, stuff like that, and the basis of the class, you learn a bunch of definitions. So that's five weeks. It, it go by pretty quick. Like I, I, uh, then you take software. That's what I'm in now. Software is three weeks. I'm in client software, and that's three weeks. Then I'm gonna be going to Windows Server. Then I forget what's after that one, but it's still software. If it's server and mail server, mail server. That's three weeks. Then you go to CCNA. I'm not in CCNA yet, but my roommates are, so I can't really explain that to you what that is yet. I know it's still networking and it's, uh, setting up submits and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not in CCNA yet. And then you go to CCNA 2, and then that's another three-week course. So once you get to CCNA 2, you go, you're on the verge of getting the graduation. You're getting close. And then after CCNA 2, you go to Security, Security Plus. That's the hardest class. It's a week long, and that's, boy, it go, boy, it get hard for security. A lot of people fell out of security. But yeah, that's um, this next class. And there's two last classes after security. A little two last classes, but that's basically applying what you learned. I forget what they call it, but a lot of people don't make it there. They make it there, then they fill out, or they don't make it there because of security. But those are the two last classes which you apply to show them that you know what you're doing. But anyway, yeah, you take like foundations, software, CCNA, CCNA 2, security. Take a total of seven classes because the two last ones, I forget what they call it, but it takes seven classes. And we passing with certs. You can get certs in AIT, but you have to do really good on like getting good grades and they give you pre um pre tests for like the certs and if you get a high enough grade they let you take the real cert. Like my class we took a, a pre test for comp T I A plus uh, cert, but nobody passed it because we don't get the right information and we don't get to study long enough to even pass it. So you you most likely won't pass this uh, AIT course with search, but you will get college credits for it. But you won't pass this AIT with search unless you just already have prior knowledge. But they won't teach you how to get search while you're in AIT. But they'll give you the option. They'll give you the um, opportunity to get them, but it's likely that you won't get them. And what happens if you fail? D don't fail. If you fail, you're going to be sitting around cleaning for three months until you get another class. Like people that fail, they just... They wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and they do details like clean, help other people do stuff. They don't do nothing. They're, bro, they literally eat, sleep, and clean. That's about it. Don't don't fail. Because if you fail, you're going to be an NAC. And then they take your face badge and you go back to phase four. So don't fail. And then you're going to be here longer, at least three months longer than what you should be. Three months until you get a class and you have to pass the class. And if you fail that class again, you get a different MOS or kicked out the army. So don't fail. You're going to be waiting a long time. Clean. <clears throat> AIT daily life. So basically the AIT daily life during the week is you wake up, do PT, um, you shower, you go back out for lunch formation, and you get, you go eat. Well, that's my, that's my routine because I'm a swing shift, so I got to night class. So I wake up at 8 for PT, come back, shower, and I got a formation at PT over like 10, so I got a formation at 11 for lunch. And I'm free from 11 to um, 3 something. It's like four hours of free time on during the week. That's about it. So I just came back from the PX, you know. Come on out. 
came back from the PX. But um, yeah, but I'm a phase five, so I can go to the PX during the week. If you're a phase four, you only can go on the weekends. But yeah, I'm about to take a nap after this video. So if I'm like talking fast, it's because I got I gotta get some sleep in, bro. I got school, and I'd be tired as fuck. But um, yeah, basically. It's basically cool. Everybody's going to the PX. There really ain't much to do but go to the PX. People be wearing their best outfits to the PX. There's nothing to do. But I don't really be caring because I'm not trying to impress nobody here. But, um, yeah, basically just go to the PX. You can just chill outside, play hoop, play basketball, go to the gym. You can do a bunch of stuff. It's basically like college for real, but a little bit more disciplined. That's basically it. And this is a place called the IT Center. But I ain't never been to, but I heard it's, like, more relaxed. People be chilling in there. But, anyway, yeah, I'll tell you like cool, though. And he wanted me to talk about phases. So basically, coming as a phase four, and that's I'm a phase five. The phase four is white. <clears throat> coming as a phase four, <clears throat> and coming as a phase four, and um, you got you can't phase up for three weeks. You have to be in class for three weeks, and you can phase up. You got to do policy letter. You got to do a bunch of stuff: room inspection, ASU inspection, room like a locker inspection. You got to do sound offs. You got to do much stuff like that. You can't have no counseling. And then you can get phase five, like I mean, I got it on week five. If I was two weeks late, I can get phase five plus next, next, next month, yeah, next month. But as a phase four, you really can't do nothing. You got like, you got format, you got more formations. You can't go to the PA during the week. You can't wear civilian clothes. But as a phase five, you can go to the PA during the week. You can wear civilian clothes. You got less formations, and you only got two formations on weekends, so you can sleep all day on weekends for real. But phase five plus. Basically the same as five, but you can go off post, but you spend more money if you go off post because the taxis be expensive. And then you can sign out at eight o'clock. As a phase five, you can sign out at 10. As a phase four, you sign out at 12. That's basically it. So phase up as quick as possible. The quicker you phase up, the more sleep you get. <clears throat> and is AIT really 23 weeks? No, AIT is like 17, 18 weeks, but you're probably gonna be here for like 20, 21, 22. Cause you gotta wait on it's like after you graduate you're gonna be here for like another week or two and you might have to be waiting on a class for a week or two so you're only really in class for like 17 18 weeks like i'm on week six and i got like 12 weeks of class left 11 weeks of class left so i'm only gonna be here for like 18 17 weeks something like that so yeah class is not 23 weeks yeah there are drill sergeants in ait but they're not as bad as basic drill sergeants drill sergeants are way worse at basic but here they're more relaxed they're more like chill they're like here to teach you your job not to be disciplining you because you should be disciplined from basic they're like the cooler the dorms i'm in my dorm right now as you can see it's not that good i'll show you around a little bit that's my bed it's a little messy right now but you know but as a face five you can wear civilian blankets too we're not wearing but using that's my roommate's bed and that's my other roommate's bed, you know. But yeah, so that's basically how the dorms are. They're not that good. If you watch my last video, I think, or one of my old videos, I think it's my, when I review my Yeezys, you can see my real dorm, my whole full dorm. Um, lame people. I mean, yeah, because we're a techie job, so it's going to be a lot of geeks and stuff, but I mean, I don't really want to call people lame because that's a matter of opinion, but I might be lame for making YouTube videos. People might think that's lame, but... Do whatever makes you happy, but my personal opinion, I don't really talk to him like that because I'm not no real techie dude. Like, I'm a techie dude, but I'm not no nerd. You feel me? They be like real nerdy, over the top. Regrets? I mean, I don't really got no regrets because I'm here now. I'm under contract, so I can't do nothing about it. But my biggest regret is like, I would have went National Guard Reserve, so I want to go back home. But I also want to travel, so I'm like in kind of in the middle of just I gotta deal with it and see where this life, see where the military life takes me. Cause I. I I don't know, bro. I just got to do it now. I'm active duty and I'm like under contract. So it's like no backing out at this point. But yeah, that's basically, I don't really got no regrets. But my, my main regret is I wish I would like, like I want this job, but I wish it was just shorter, bro. Like AIT for five, four months is a long time. Like, some people I know already graduated from basic. I mean, graduated from AIT. I went to basic with and my one friend graduated next month. I'm still be here for two more months. And was the army good from, good fit for me? Yeah, the army was a good fit for me because I needed the discipline. I needed the direction with my life. It was giving me good direction, good discipline, making me into a better person to get my bank account bigger than whatever it ever was when I was in high school. But yeah, like I, I can't work in a regular job. Like I've quit almost every job I ever worked at because I can't. And this job is like best for me because it's forcing me to wake up. It's forcing me to do shit that I don't want to do. Because at a regular job, they don't force you to wake up and go. So it's like, I couldn't do it. 
I could not work no regular job. I'm not knocking those jobs. It's just me personally. I could not do it. I'd rather serve this country than to work at fast food because I just can't. But anyways, yeah, that's basically it. And somebody want me to talk about student leadership. Uh, if you want to get student leadership at basic or AIT, just do the right thing. Always do the right thing. You'll get noticed. Don't be going all out over the People don't like when you're like going out your way to show that you need to be student leadership. Just do the right thing at all times and people will notice it and give you student leadership. That's basically it. Just do the right thing at all times so you'll get student leadership. Like, you really want student leadership in basic though, you'll get promoted for it. I know plenty of people that got promoted for being student leadership in basic. So if you get student leadership in basic, keep it and be a good soldier and you'll get promoted. See me, I was not that good of a soldier in basic. I used to talk formations, all that. So that's why I'm still E1. But I rank up next month to E2. So thank you. Congratulations to me. Pat on the back. But anyways, hope y'all like this video. This is my AIT experience. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to talk about anything. Talk about anything else. I know some 74 deltas. And I can get information from him if y'all want me to talk about 74 deltas. I know some 88 mics. I know some 25 uniforms. So just let me know what y'all want me to talk about. Anything military. If y'all want me to talk about basic, AIT, my future in the Army. And when I get my orders and see where I'm going, I'll let y'all know. But anyways, I'm out. Oh, wait. Like, comment, and subscribe.